Whenever you go out and draft a receiver in the top 10, you have a lot of immediate pressure because the new trendy thing in the NFL has been getting all these great wide receivers that are being taken in the late first round, early second, third, and even fourth round. So to say someone's worth a top 10 pick is really saying they're special. This year we had Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, and Devontae Smith. Well, it seems that all four of these guys have really been incredible for the respective teams, but today we are just going to focus on Jalen Waddle because not only has he been great for two in the Dolphins team, but he has really seemed to take off these past three games and become a staple for this offense. In those games, he's averaging 10 receptions, 106 yards a game, and he even got attention from NFL stars around the league. For example, Marlon Humphrey put out this tweet saying that he's going to be a top 10 guy next year. Then he follows to immediately get dunked on by some random Twitter user. This is why I love Twitter, but come on, we're not going to stand for Marlon Humphrey slander like that. But in today's film analysis, we're going to break it down into three quick parts. What the Dolphins knew they were getting from Jalen Waddle and how he's been executing, what he's added to his game since entering the NFL, and how they've been using him so creatively as of recently, and what they should do moving forward. There is a lot to talk about, so let's get into the film. In the first part of this film analysis, we're going to go over what the Dolphins knew they were getting from Jalen Waddle, and that is lightning in a bottle. He's going to be on the bottom of your screen right here. This is Preston Williams. He's going to push up field. Jalen Waddle is just going to kind of trail him, but just watch him on his play and see what he's going to be able to do when he gets the ball in his hands. And you can watch this. He did this with Jalen Hurts, Tua, Mac Jones, all of these guys. It's just going to get open. Tua's going to find him, and he's going to catch the ball right here, start the Speedy Gonzalez, start the Roadrunner music, because he is absolutely gone. He didn't run a 40, but he ran a 4.37 before he even stepped foot on Alabama. So you can go on YouTube and watch 20 minutes of him doing this at Alabama. He's been doing this his whole entire career. This is what he's so good at. And when you have speed like this, this scares the shit out of cornerbacks, especially safeties. On this play, we're going to have this guy come out to the right, and it's going to be immediate zone tell because the corner passes up Jalen Wild to kind of stay here in the flats with him. Jalen Wild is going to push up the field and then hit a corner route. We're going to see how this goes. We're going to see the fear of his speed alone is going to make this play all happen. So he's going to push up the field. He's going to target right after the safety. When he sees the cornerback doesn't go for him, he knows he's going to have a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the safety, which is super advantageous for him. He's going to kind of press inside. You can see where he started, like right at the top of the numbers. He's going to press inside. He's already about five yards inside where he started. And then as soon as the safety right here, he's backpedaling, backpedaling. He's going to turn his hips open. This is when he's going to make his break. Not only has this happened because of his speed, but he's already knowing when to make his cuts. And this is just not what you see from a rookie. Two is going to put it right on a dot, and he, makes up, he goes up and makes a fantastic catch this is what you love to see because you knew this is why you drafted him so high because he's able to have this much speed he's able to run routes like these and the chemistry he already has with Tua and this play is actually really confusing to me. It ends up working out great, but I want to show you some things. So on that last play, what he did is he went out here and did this little corner route and then he had over here we had a deep over, but they don't run that here. They're going to run what Peyton Manning used to call a tower play. They're going to have a post here and a deep over. This is supposed to create the deep over going over because this is a post stopper. This is called middle of the field closed because you're running the post route right into the middle of the safety. So it's not going to be there, but they're going to run this to open up the deep over route from the other side of the field. This is going to be called tower. So Jalen Wild is going to take an inside release on the bottom of your screen, but for some reason, the safety doesn't stay in the middle of the field. I don't know if he's getting ready for that corner route if they watch the film they saw they like to do that route concept but he is just not in great position or maybe he's just flat out underestimating Jalen Waddle's speed and right here Tua is going to let it fly because he's like okay I cannot believe they're not getting over the top of him right now and Tua actually doesn't put a great ball on him if they have this where you want this ball to be you want this ball to be more so out here. So Jalen Waddle can get under it and run away because absolutely no one's going to catch him. He does have to stop, jump, and catch it in the air. But these are the type of things that his speed, I believe, just flat out scares the crap out of corners and safeties because they have to play. and They can go guess off film, but he's already so advanced in his route run and he's able to make things like these happen. And he's going to be able to run a post onto a post safety and when the middle of the field is closed. 
And what's been so impressive about Jalen Waddle this year is he's kind of taking on two roles. So on the Kansas City Chiefs, the Tyreek Hill is going to be that lightning in a bottle type of guy, and Travis Kelty is going to be the safety blanket. He is so good at exploiting zone coverages and just finding the open space, and him and Mahomes have an amazing connection. And Jalen Waddle kind of plays both. He's playing Ty Tyreek Hill's role, but also Travis Kelsey. He's going to be playing in the slot right here, and he's just going to get open. He's going to be on a drag route right here. Watch how this play develops. This is going to be the chemistry between between Tua and Jalen Waddle, but as this play goes on, you're gonna see Jalen Waddle in the slot on the bottom of your screen. He's gonna go across, and then in zone coverage, the rule is find open space and stay there. Don't run out of open space, and that's exactly what he does. He's on this drag route, He's but if it's man coverage, he's torching it. Look where Tua's throwing it right now. He's still sprinting all the way across the field, but Jalen Waddle and him are on the same page because he's gonna buckle down right here. I mean, look, this is so amazing. He could be sprinting across the field. This is just gonna be an incomplete pass, but they're both on the same page. Tua knows he's not gonna run into the open guy. This is Jalen Waddle being a great security blanket and playing the role of tight end on this play. Again, we're going to see Jalen Waddle at the top of your screen. He's going to be running this over route, and he's already smo so smart and understands all the concepts of zone coverage. Find open pace and sit there. So right now, he's running this over route. He sees the corner dropping back. He's not going to keep running this over route. He's going to hunker down right in the middle of the field and let Tua put it right on him. This is what you. This is huge for third down conversions, and when you guys have a guy that nobody can really guard him one-on-one -on -one just because of his speed alone and his route running, he's going to take advantage of all safeties and corners, but also when you play zone coverage he's smart enough and he has the relationship with Tua from Alabama into the NFL where they know where to sit down and they know how to deliver these strikes and pick up these second and third long conversions. And it's so important, too, that Jalen Waddle has developed into the safety blanket type of guy because the Miami Dolphins, their weakness of the team is the offensive line. And when you have an offensive line that's your weak point, you have to get rid of the ball quick and you have to get rid of the ball accurate. So when you have a wide receiver, you have to win fast, get open, find the open space. And so this is going to be week six against the Jaguars in London. We're going to watch four plays right in a row. These are all from the opening drive. We're going to go through these very quickly and just watch how he ex absolutely exploits. Get the ball out fast. This is why Jalen Waddle is number six in the NFL for receptions, but he's not even has a thousand yards yet and he's 9.8 averages. This is a guy like Tyreek Hill. Or look at it, he's just finding the open space. Tyreek Hill is going to average way more yards per carry, but Jalen Waddle is just going to be the security blanket guy, and he's going to be able to get in the zones, and a lot of the places he's catching it are two, three, four yards down the field. Screen passes, just getting your best player the ball. I actually love this play right here, and I think they should be utilized a lot more. This doesn't have to do a ton with Jalen Waddle, but just kind of the play design. This is Jalen Waddle right here, and they, they want the slant because look how open it is. But what Tua does on this play he reverse pivots out of it just to freeze the linebacker just enough where he's not going to be able to help out on the slant so he's going to reverse out like he's going to hand the ball off that freezes the linebacker Tua replants and slips this in there so that is four plays on the opening drive just where he's able to exploit and win the route quickly or find it in zone coverage this is why he's six in the NFL in receptions he's 23rd in yards and 95th in average with 9.8 a reception but also when we think Think about people like Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, Travis Kelsey. We look at how many times they were targeted and how many times they completed it. Jalen Waddle is sitting at about 76%, which is higher than every single one of them. Travis Kelsey are sitting at the high 60s, while Devontae Adams and Cooper Cups are in the lower 70s. So him being able to get the ball really, really quickly, have super high completion percentage between him and Tua has been the reason. And I don't think they were quite expecting that going into the draft. I think they were getting a guy that could take the top off the the defense make some of these contested catches but what he's been able to do playing role as tight end and lightning in a bottle has just been so impressive now, as I said, Jalen Waddle has been going off these last three games, and I really don't think it's by any mistake. I'm going to show you three quick plays from this last game against the Saints where he was able to be put in really creative situations in very advantageous spots. So right here, he's going to drip out into the flats. This is a third down conversion, and they do this a lot on third down, but getting him into a really advantageous position is going to be huge for his success. So we watch Tua get the ball. Jalen Waddle's going to be in the backfield. He's going to kind of slip under. And this is why playing running back, this is what Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, they do this a lot out of the backfield. And 
it's because you're not going to have a safety or a nickel. You're not going to have them play in the box. He's actually going to get another 15 yards on this conversion because of a late hit out of bounds. But you're not going to have your cornerback one playing in the box. But then you can do so many things with him, and we're going to see this on the next play. So that, he went across the formation in the flat. Once again, third and two against a very good Saints defense. Get your best player on offense, Jalen Waddle, into an advantageous situation because you're going to have this linebacker on him. So now what we've seen, he could be going in the flats over here. He can attack the linebacker, do an out route. But on this play, he's going to be running what we like to call a Texas route. That's kind of when you go out like you're going to the flats and then cut back in. This is about as easy as it gets. And this is what they've been doing so much recently with Jalen Waddle, just finding creative ways to get him advantageous matchups, get the ball in his hands, convert these third downs they're going to do it in the red zone as well when yards are harder to get by but they can just do this over and over and over again the last play we're going to look at looking no further than the backfield Jalen Waddle is going to be here again and on this play this is a beautiful play design I believe this is Mike Gesicki he's going to kind of clear out on the slant route which leaves this linebacker one-on-one -on -one with him and he's just going to flip it out to him in the flats and say hey it's third and one race me to the first down marker and you can place your bets as who's going to make it to the six first I'm not a betting man it was legal in California but if I could put all my money in the world that Jalen Waddle is going to beat that linebacker to the first down line I would absolutely win a hundred times out of a hundred so this is what they has been so impressive he's been going off these past three games but it's not really a mistake look no further than how they're using them they're getting them the ball as many times as they can he's just making plays happen with how athletic he is also being able to be that lightning in the bottle where he can bust any play wide open also being to a security blanket so as you can see, Jalen Waddle is finally being unleashed and is developing into a veteran style of wide receiver for this young team. The way he uses his insane athleticism to take the top off the defense, or when he gets these open, fast, run after catch plays, how he becomes a safety blanket for Tua, and this is why he's sixth in the NFL in receptions, even with missing two games. He's going to finish this year over 1,000 yards in a season, which is great. And the last three games, how they started to use their best player in creative ways to get them the ball has been a big reason why they've had so much success recently I cannot wait to see how they continue to use him and I'm excited to see him plays for years and years to come and see how he continues to develop but let me know what you guys think what do you guys think about Jalen Waddle comment down below make sure to like this video if you like videos like these and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content I love and appreciate you all thank you so much for checking out the channel comment down below who you want me to cover next and as always I will see you all tomorrow peace